What's going on my friends? DJ Lowstacks here. Welcome back or to the channel. Welcome to another gig log. Today we are at Record Box Lofts in Battle Creek, Michigan. So not too far from home, about 45 minutes from home, uh, celebrating with Katie and Austin today. So Austin I actually used to work with uh, for like five years at this place called Menards. So if you're from the Midwest, you probably have been to a Menards, but it's like a Home Depot, Lowe's kind of spot. So I worked there with Austin for quite a few years. I've done a lot of people's uh, ex co workers <coughs> weddings um, from working there and this is another one today so I'll head inside right now I'll show you guys around it's a super cool spot so it's an old like factory type place they converted into a venue uh, really slick so cocktails on the second floor ceremony and reception are on the third so we do have a little bit of a flip to do but not a big deal we've done that a bunch of times and I'm gonna try out the new IEM system today so let me head, head upstairs and I'll show you guys what we're working with today let's go all right guys ceremony is over we're in the middle of a room flip hopefully you guys can hear me it's really loud in here right now uh, let me flip the camera around. I want to show you guys my setup. I didn't get a chance to show you earlier because we ran into a couple hiccups. The Wi-Fi wasn't working. So I couldn't get the salsa to work. Uh, but yeah, we got that figured out. Ceremony happened. Ceremony was great. It went great. Uh, but I want to show you some new things I'm working with today. So nothing too different here except for, check this out. So we're running sound off the iPad today through, finally, 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 I was able to get my hands on a QST touch mix. So touch mix, this thing is sick. I'll probably do a, I mean, I don't know, I probably won't actually. There's a ton of videos on this thing. But what I love about it is it has four outputs. So it's got four auxiliary outs. So like right now, I'll show you guys in a minute. But I also just bought this, which is a Sennheiser IEM system. It's the dual IEM. So it has two of these guys. Just a lapel pack. It's got two of these, so I can run two wireless speakers. Also, real quick, we're not using sound switch tonight, but if we were, we'd be using this control one. And I wanted to show you guys this all white skin. So this is from Decals for DJs. So Tyler Wallace, hit him up, decalsfordjs.com, decals for number four, djs.com. It came out sick, it matches my other skins perfectly. But out front here, nothing crazy. Just got the slideshow going. All right guys, so now I'm gonna take you down to the second floor. We're taking a little shortcut through the back here, but second floor, I've got a salsa booth set up for cocktail hour. And I've also got a wireless speaker running through the IAM. So we're on the second floor right now. We're, DJ setup is on the third floor. We're coming down here to the second. Check this out. And then over here we've got the salsa booth set up. We'll be moving this upstairs after cocktail's done. Good evening. Thank you guys all for waiting ever so patiently. <laughs> Bustling dresses can be very complicated. I know absolutely nothing about it, but I learned a lot today. So, if you guys want to know anything, come up and ask me. My name is Logan, and I'll be your entertainer this evening. But first, I would like to welcome you all to the wedding celebration of Katie and Austin. <laughs> and now, the moment we've all been waiting for is my editor of our newlywed. Make some noise for the brand new Mr. and Mrs. Shaver!
let's recap this one. So, new venue, for one. New venue to me, anyway. A couple of the guys have been there. I hadn't been there yet. Super cool spot. I did really, really like it. I like the layout of the room. I like that they had cocktail on the second floor and, you know, dinner and bar and dancing and everything on the top floor. Well, and ceremony was on the top floor, too, actually. Negatives. So, one, the elevator. The freaking elevator. So, <laughs> my booth barely fit in this elevator. And when I say barely, I mean I had it angled in there and I was grabbing a hold of it and jerking, 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 jerking. Jerking, jerking, jerking. Like, I'm talking just straight jerking on this booth to get it in there just far enough for the door to close. And the door still was rubbing my booth and barely closed. I put a big old dent in that trim on my booth, actually. But, fun fact nice thing about using the PVC trim, I took a heat gun, hit it with a heat gun, and I was able to smooth it back out, and it looks, it looks decent. It looks decent. So, fast forward, we get set up, everything's going good. Ceremony. We used the Rode Wireless Lav Kit for Ceremony Audio. That works great. I, I ordered the DJI Lav Kit that hasn't showed up yet, but I have that on order. So we're going to try that one because it has two. Uh, and I think you can take like one of those quarter inch or eighth inch headphone jack cables to dual XLR and I should be able to control left and right simultaneously, I believe. So we're going to try that. Uh, new stuff, so the touch mix. So that thing, holy crap, is that thing awesome. Uh, for technology that came out in 2015, it's really badass, and I hope that QSC continues to make that and make some newer iterations and things like that. Um, I had the, the wireless signal from that thing was working down through the floor. I had my new IEM system from Sennheiser, I had that hooked up down in the cocktail space. That was working perfectly. That thing is amazing. So much better than all the other little, you know, things that we've tried to use for wireless systems. The all other ones, you know, you know what's out there. Uh, this just works really freaking well. Um, it's what it's made, it's not made for wireless speakers, but it's made to send wireless signals, you know, to uh, band members and vocalists and things like that. So they wear the body pack and they can hear what's getting played in the headphones. So basically we're just doing that same thing. We're just sending the signal from the body pack into the speaker rather than to the headphones. So it's literally what it's kind of designed for. So worked great. Uh, that was badass, not gonna lie, super badass. So touch mix was freaking awesome. I love having all that control. I love having the extra outputs. So now I was able to add the IEM system and all that. Downsides to the event, two things kind of hurt us. So one, there was a brewery downstairs, and for whatever reason, people kept going down to this brewery, which I thought was kind of weird, but they did. Uh, and then another thing, um, this is no fault to the bride, I mean, I get it, but bustling the dress took really, really long. I'm talking like upwards to an hour to bustle the dress. Uh, we were trying to get ready. I brought cocktails over, I bring everybody up for dinner. We're seated. I'm waiting to do introductions. Keep saying, oh, it's gonna be a few minutes. They're bustling the dress. Oh, we're bustling the dress, we're bustling the dress. That ended up taking, so basically the guests, after I got them seated, they sat for another 45 minutes before we actually even did introductions. So dinner happened about almost an hour late. Uh, that kind of hurt things, because then by the time we did dinner and speeches and all that stuff, you know, we really pushed pretty late into the night and a lot of guests, to be honest, they just kind of left right at, right at the get-go. So, as you saw, there wasn't a ton of dancing. Um, I got those few clips of, you know, kind of a full dance floor. But for the most part of the night, um, there wasn't a ton of people dancing, which was challenging. Uh, there was a lot of people standing over by the bar, people using the photo booth, all that stuff. Um, I tried everything. I tried classic rock, funk, Motown, new stuff, whatever. And, you know, I'd get them out there for a minute and I'd lose them. Get them out there for a minute and I'd lose them. Um, I think it just wasn't a huge dancing crowd. But either way, it was a good event, solid event. No big hiccups, nothing like that. Uh, I am excited to go back there because I do like that spot a lot. Um, I don't know if I'll bring the big 65 inch booth though. I might have to consider, I can't believe I'm saying this, consider another option. Something like a whoreboard or a bun booth or something like that that I can use when I have these situations like, like this and just make it work. But all right guys. As always, if you're new around here, please subscribe, click that like button, click that notification bell, and hit me with a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this. Let me know what the, what's the craziest thing you guys have had happen at a wedding. You ever had an elevator you couldn't fit in, or a bride that couldn't get her dress bustled, or anything like that. Let me know. We're fastly approaching that 5,000 subscriber mark. Can't wait to hit that milestone, guys. 
And uh, I'll catch up to you in the next one. Peace.